Hello, my name is Stephen Mayu, and this is my video series on practical JavaScript where I walk you through the algorithm challenges at freecodecamp.com. In this video, we're going to do binary agents. It's uh, challenge number 18 from the intermediate section. Whew, I've been drinking some beer and uh, I want to burp, but I'm going to keep it down because I'm a classy guy like that. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's take a look at the challenge. Return an English translated sentence of the past binary string. The binary string will be space separated. Okay, that's it. So you see we have a function. It's called binary string. It takes a st string, binary agent, it takes a string. And this is our string. And in there, there's a whole bunch of code, binary code. This right here is just some binary. And, you know, it, it kind of looks like a whole bunch of ones and zeros. That's exactly what it is, actually. Um, but each of these numbers, um, e each of these, like, you know, sequences right here, they, it just represents a number. And um, if you don't know much about binary, it's uh, pretty fascinating stuff. Um, Harvard has this uh, pretty sweet online course that's free called CS50. And um, I highly recommend that you, you know, um, that you enroll in their course. But if you don't want to do that, um, you can find their videos online. Uh, this video right here kind of explains it all. Um, so yeah, definitely watch that. Uh, it'll just give you like a better understanding of like what binary is and how it works. Uh, anyway, um, uh, so each of these like chunks, it, it's going to convert into like a regular number, uh, what we call like a decimal number, and um, and we're going to use the parse int method in, in order to get that to us. So the parse int function parses a string argument and returns an integer of the specified radix which is the base in mathematical numerical system. So for, for humans, we, when we use numbers, you know, for example, if you say I'm 30 years old, well, you know, 30, um, 30 is a number and we're using like the base 10 numerical system when we talk about, you know, age and price and, you know, all sorts of stuff. But binary uses base two, numbers um, because it's binary you know like bicycle has two wheels or binoculars has two scopes like that binary uses a base of two so when we use this parse int function we're going to give it a string and a radex and it accepts a radex from 2 to 36 and uh, it says right here, specify 10 for the decimal numerical system commonly used by humans. That qualifies as us. <laughs> um, but for binary, we're going to, you know, use 10. Um, or, or, sorry, we're going to use 2. Um, but there's a whole bunch of other, you know, number systems. There's 8 for octal, 16 for hexadecimal, and, uh, and so on. So, so anyway... Um, Let's just take a look at uh, this challenge and let's um, let's write some code. So I've already gone ahead and created a new JavaScript file, 19 binary agents, and I went ahead and um, embedded that on line 11 as I normally do. And I just want to show you, um, you know, it, what what we will get if we return um, and convert these values into binary. Okay, so. Um, first of all, I want to convert this string into an array. So return str split. Okay, we haven't seen that in a while. And then um, I want to transform each of the uh, uh, like chunks, each of these like binary values. I want to transform that into something else. So I'm just going to use the map method. Let's call it value right here. And to give you an idea, uh, I'm just going to say return parse int 
value that is um, that's each of the individual strings right here. So we got to pass in a string for the first value. And uh, I'm going to give you um, just uh, an argument of 10. All right, save that. And I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, open up the JavaScript console like we always do. Okay, and then I'm going to refresh. And uh, okay, you can see I get like exactly the same numbers uh, that, um, that, that are in this string. So you can see it, it looks like identical. Um, I think the first zero gets chopped off. But, but everything else is exactly the same. So these are the same numbers um, that, that, uh, that, that humans see. When like humans see this, and see these long strings of numbers, this is what like our brain's actually interpreting. So that, that's what it meant by like a base of 10 um, used by humans. Now, if I replace 10 with a two, then we're using base two numbers and uh, what we get back is going to be quite interesting. So let's save that and refresh. Now look at that. We get a an array of numbers, but um, but it looks quite interesting. Um, we've got like all of these different values right here, and uh, it's it's not like a bunch of ones and zeros. It's like 65, 114, 101, 110, 39, 116, <clears throat> whole range of these numbers. Now, if you recall from the last um, from, from from the last challenge of the beginning section, Caesar Cipher, we did something very similar to this. We um, took a number. Okay, we we had like a number. Uh, well, well, first, um, oh, I'm sorry, back up. Uh, we had like this scrambled sentence and we converted it to its numerical value. And depending on what that value was, we either added 13 to it or subtracted 13 to it. And then we converted that new, like updated integer, updated number into, uh, into a string character again. So, uh, so that's how we were able to crack the Caesar cipher. Uh, same sort of things happening right here. And these numbers are actually representing character values. So if you can recall, okay, we're going to say string dot, um, and then free code camp gives us the, the method that we want from char code. So from char code, I'm just going to wrap all of this in here because this right here, it's going to return a number as, as we as we've seen right here in the JavaScript console. Okay, it's going to return a number. Oops, I'm going to keep doing that. And then when we call from char code, it's going to take this number and create a string. So if I save that and refresh, ah, look at that. Now I get an array of uh, of single letters. Okay, so let's just join it, and then we should get a human readable sentence. So I'm just going to do it like this. Refresh again. Aren't bonfires fun? Oh, yes, bonfires. Bonfires, by the way, if you're new to Free Code Camp, bonfires are what uh, the algorithm challenges used to be called. Um, there, there were all sorts of like camping terminology, bonfires, zip lines, all this sort of stuff. Uh, they did away with that terminology terminology long ago, but that's that's what it meant. Uh, that's what it means right there. Bonfires, the algorithm challenges. So um, I was able to take some binary code and uh, convert it into uh, a human readable string. Um, we have uh, plenty of time, so let's just copy this and put it in here. Just make sure that it works at Free Code Camp. Run it. The town is now red. Woo. Okay, it works. So once again, we are taking this string and we're going to convert it into an array using the split method. And uh, we're you know passing in a space right here. So like each 
uh, one of these, you know, like blocks right here, it becomes uh, its own item in the array. And then we're going to return an array with like new values. So we're using the map function. So each one of these like chunks of binary code is uh, represented by the value, which is iterating through each one. And, um, and this parse int, okay, it takes a string and the string is, even though these are numbers, that it's still like a string data type. So we got to pass in a string right here. And then uh, for the radex, we um, we give it uh, number two through thirty six, I believe. Yeah, two through thirty six. So two is the radex system for binary, because binary means two, one two. And um, when we pass in this here, it's going to give us some sort of number. Okay, um, and then this number it's passed into this from char code and then that's going to generate a string give us a string value so this will create an array of letters and characters and then we just join it together with this and we get a human readable string uh, so the first one is aren't bonfires fun and if you look at the second one it says i love free code camp which of course we all do okay so um, that's it. That's all I want to show you in this challenge. Um, uh, compared to some of the other work that we've done, uh, still quite easy. But um, hey, you, you learned something new today. You learned about parse int, and uh, you got a uh, another look at the from char code method that we haven't seen in quite a while. Okay, um, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for improvement, please let me know in the comments below. All right, that's all for now, and goodbye. Bye-bye. Boop. Goodbye. Boop.